Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys another one of my Cardfight Vanguard Market Price Watches videos. Uh, today this is for February 1st, and we're going through quite a few of the cards on this list. Uh, a couple of price changes have happened, a lot of the escalations on a lot of cards, which is mostly why I do these videos, to see the hyped up prices of cards. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first up we have Dragonic Overlord the X. This card was originally a single digit price card, now I see it shooting up to... Uh, about $20 at minimum for the cheapest ones uh, online. Uh, I think, um, not that I've seen too much uh, new uh, material or, you know, news about the deck, but it has been confirmed that they will be receiving support for Kagro in set 11, which is what I can see uh, some of the hype be for this card. Uh, definite hoping to see some Overlord support in that set. It's always fun to see what new combo or combination they can come up with for Dragonic Overlord. So I can see that being the reason why he has spiked up in price. Uh, as for Destruction Dragon Dark Rex, we've seen a lot of Dark Rex support being released for the Tachikaze support in set 10. Um, but that's only seen an increase in Guy Emperor's price. We haven't really seen a price increase in this card at all. It's still retaining that single digit value, which, you know, you probably want to play Dark Rex in the deck if you're going to build Rex. He's a very good card. I even see him used in... Uh, G Tachikaze. I'm just surprised that, you know, his price hasn't fluctuated at all. So if you're looking to build this deck, I definitely would pick up some of these Dark Rexes. Um, as expected, Nova Grappler prices have shifted. Extreme Battler Victors are minimum $20, and there's only two uh, sellers left uh, selling these things. So once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, it's, I, it's The deck is very good, but it is hype in many ways. Uh, the deck is uh, getting a lot of support, a new version of Victor, a Victor Stride, better G Guardians, backup grade 1 and 2 support, so a complete revamp for the deck is a justified cause for why this card did spike up in price. The same can be said about Meteor Kaiser Victor, the uh, Stride for Victor. I know we're getting a Generation Rare version, but this one's very needed backup for the card, because for every uh, face-up unit of Victor you have, uh, it applies to the gen rare's ability, so you definitely need to run four of this at max. Um, so sitting at this and this at those prices, you can see that the deck is definitely shot up in price. So those of you who have the deck and are looking to build it, uh, very easy for you. But people who want to get into the deck now, definitely difficult if they're looking to pick up the cards for this deck new. Uh, Silverthorn stuff. We have the character booster for Am and Luna coming out uh, later this year. And Silverthorn support has been confirmed. There's a new version of Silverthorn Dragon Tamer Luquier in the set. This is the only version of the $11 for uh, the Silverthorn Stride. Then after that, we're seeing $25 range. I'm not sure where the price will stick. I guess it depends to see what the rest of the Silverthorn support will do, basically. Um, but it's definitely hype. Silverthorns have always been expensive just because people really do like Luquier. So I can see this card sticking around this price, especially with the Fighters Collection 2015 box being out of print. Uh, moving on, we have Enigma Storm. This is the highest I've ever seen this card. $30 for an Enigma Storm. That's the cheapest one so far. The hype for Enigma is really going strong. It's getting a ton of support. And I don't even know if you're going to use Enigma Storm in the deck or if you're going to use the new support cards. I know Enigma Storm works with Tornado, so if you were to stick with that combo in the new support, I can see that definitely working. And this is just crazy. This card was originally, I think, 3 to $4 at most. And it's already... You you know, gone 10 times more expensive than what it originally was. For people, I know I have my place out of Enigma Storm, so I'm pretty happy about that. For, for people who have them, you've definitely profited. If you wish to get rid of them now, it's definitely the time to do so. Uh, now moving on to some double rares. The Spike Brother hype is slowly dying down. Windkiller Misery was uh, once $25, now it's seeing a $13 range, and it's trending at that price with a few stores. So. Um, getting easier, I saw that Rising Nova is also around the $18 range, so it's getting a little easier to build the G Spike Brother deck. So uh, Easy pickups, especially if you need Windkiller for other Spike Brother decks as well. Uh, Sanctuary Guard Arc has actually uh, retained this $8 price range. When it first came out, it was seeing a $5 range, but I think more and more people are wanting to build Sanctuary Guard just because it didn't get hit with the restriction list, meaning um, people have more you know, of a fond memory to build this deck, so Arcs will definitely retain a good amount of value. I guess we'll see how the deck does later on with regionals coming up and see if it goes up anymore from this after the pack is gone. 
And for the last card, just to wrap up the Spike Brothers, uh, Kiss Mark Alma was also reaching the $20 range. But we see a trend with all the Spike Brothers stuff uh, just slowly dropping down. Uh, I think the only thing, Dudleys are retaining a little price value with their Geronimos just because of... Uh, basically, the card being out of print, like I stated earlier, with the uh, Silverthorn support. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this week's uh, Price Market Watch. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Kira Qualia out.